Hello everyone, it's Wilson here. Today I want to talk about three improper integrals that are having the integrand that are not continuous. And as you can see here, this integrand 1 over x is not continuous at zero. So to evaluate this improper integral to determine whether it's conversion or diversion, we are going to first use the definition. We write it as a limit of a definite integral. So a approaching zero from the right and then integral from a to one and then one over x dx. And as you can see here for this integral, it goes from a to one. And so that means we're taking all the values that are uh, greater than zero. Okay. So that's why a is approaching zero from the right. And so what happened is that we are going to integrate this one over x, which would give us ln of absolute value of dx. And then evaluate it from a to one. So next we are going to plug in the one and then plug in the A and then we subtract them. And then see that this L of one is actually equal to zero. So we don't need to worry about that anymore. So we just get zero. And then we know that because A is approaching zero from the right, so A is positive, is greater than zero. So we actually don't need the absolute value anymore. So we can actually rewrite this limit. We can simplify this limit as, actually we don't need that, right? So we just have L1 of A. And then so now we want to compute this limit here, uh, ln of a and a is approaching zero from the right. So if we just graph the ln function, we can simply just find the answer easily. So we have. And so this is the, um, this is the ln function. Well, actually I should just use ln of x. Okay, so as you can see here, as a approaching zero, okay, so as a approaching zero, then what happens is that it's going to be approaching zero. So that means you can see that the function is actually approaching what length infinity. So this L1 of a is approaching length infinity as a approaching zero from the right. So what do we get here? We just get negative and then we have negative infinity. So what's our final answer? It's infinity here. And so uh, what do we say about this integral? We say that it's divergent. Okay, let's look at another improper integral here. This time we have the integrand that's not continuous at the upper limit, the four. Okay, so we are, again, we are going to write it as a limit of a definite integral. So let's start. Then the integral is from zero to B. And then I also want to rewrite this integrand in the power form. So I'm going to write it as four minus X to the negative one over three power. And as you can see here, because this is in the denominator, so we have a negative exponent and then there was a Q root. So we have the one third power. Okay, so now we are ready to do the integration. So we are going to find the antiderivative of the four minus X to the negative one third. So to find the antiderivative, we are going to add one to the power, right? So we are going to get two over three as the new power. And then what happened is that we need to write to, uh, we need to determine a coefficient here. And so, uh, we need to multiply by the reciprocal of the new power, but also we need to pay attention to the chain rule. When we differentiate this thing, we are going to also have to multiply by the derivative of the inner function, but, there were, the, but then there was no negative sign here. So we actually need to also multiply by negative one here to cancel out with that negative sign. So we are going to get a coefficient of negative three over two. Okay, and then now we have the antiderivative and then it's being evaluated from uh, from zero to B. And so now we have this limit and then um, we need to plug in the B first and then plug in the zero and then subtract them before we evaluate the limit. Okay, so let's do that. And then so plugging in the B, we get four minus B in here. 2 over 3 is the power, and then subtract, and then now subtract negative 3 over 2, then 4 minus, and then this x, we need to plug in the 0 in there. So that's our expression. It looks messy here, but then you can see that um, when b is approaching 4, 
then we, if we calculate this 4 minus 4, we are going to get 0. So we actually don't need to worry about this. So this actually will become 0. And then so the only thing that we need to worry about is actually just this turn right here. So we have negative, negative 3 over 2. So we get positive 3 over 2, right? So we are going to get positive 3 over 2. And then we have 4 minus 0, which is just 4. 2 over 3. And then basically that's our answer. If you want to simplify, you can simplify a little bit. And because we get a finite number here, so we have a value for this improper integral. So the answer would be conversion. This integral is conversion. So let's write that down. Okay, so this one is the third improper integral here. So as you can see, this function is not going to be continuous at 2. And then because we're integrating this function over the interval of 0 to 6, and as you can see that the 2 is in here, so you can see that the function is not continuous on this interval from 0 to 6. So what we can do here first is to write it as the sum of two improper integrals. So we can actually write it as so the integral from 0 to 2, so that's the value that the function is not continuous at. And then the integrand stays the same, so x over x minus 2 and then dx, and then plus the integral from uh, 2 to 6, and then integrand also the same thing, right? So x minus 2 and then dx here. And so as you can see here, the integral is going from 0 to 2 for the first one, and then for the second one is from 2 to 6, so that will give us this one. If they both converge, then this would converge. But if one of them diverges, then this original integral will diverge. So now what we are going to do is that we can try to compute, let's say compute the first one, okay, and then let's see what happens. So we are going to, um, let's write down this integral here. So going from 0 to 2, and we can write it as a limit of a definite integral. So we can uh, let b approach 2 from the left because we are taking all the values smaller than 2, right? So we are going to have that. And then um, we can write the integral from 0 to b, and then the integral stays the same. And then so now all we need to do is to integrate this x over x minus 2. There are different ways to do it. You can do a u sub, you can do um, you can minus 2 and then add the 2. I think that's the fastest way, so let's try that. Yes, yeah, so we can also do long division, but I think the fastest way is to just use the algebraic manipulation here. So we subtract the 2, and then we add the 2 back. And so you can see that if we split up this fraction, we get x over 2, I mean x minus 2 over x minus 2 plus 2 over x minus 2. So in that case, then that would actually just, just give us a, a nice expression for us to integrate. So what can we do here? We have x minus 2 over x minus 2. So we can split that up, x minus 2 over x minus 2, and then plus 2 over x minus 2. And as you can see here, this becomes what? This becomes 1. As you can see here, so we get 1 plus and then 2 over x minus 2. Yeah, so um, let's integrate the 1. Integrating the 1 will just give us the x. Okay, so we have just x. And then integrating the 2 over x minus 2 will give us 2 times our absolute value x minus 2. So let's put that here. And then this expression is being evaluated from 0 to the b here, right? So we put the 0 to b. Okay, so now let's play in the b, play in the 0, and then we, will, we can find the limit. And then now we get this after we plug in the b. And then now we subtract. Now we plug in the 0. 
And then so as you can see that this part is finite. So we actually don't need to worry too much about this part right here. Um, the only thing that we need to pay attention to would just be uh, this ln function here because when b is approaching 2, this b is just 2, right? So it's approaching 2. So we only need to worry about this one. And as you can see here, when b is approaching 2 from the left and when we uh, put that in here and then we do the subtraction, you can see that this b minus 2 here it's approaching zero from the left, right? Because this is less than two. So when you take something less than two, you get a negative number. But because we are taking the absolute value, so this ln of absolute value b minus two, this absolute value b minus two approaching zero from the right. Is that okay? So uh, just put a note here. So even though b minus two is approaching zero from the left, absolute value b minus two is approaching zero from the right. And then as you can see in the first problem that when we have the stuff inside the ln function and that is approaching zero from the right, this ln function is approaching negative infinity. So we have a finite number here, finite number here, but this is approaching negative infinity. So our final answer would just be approaching negative infinity. And so now we actually don't even need to check the other one because this one diverges. So our original integral also diverges. And so we are finished. Okay, so thank you for watching this video. I will see you next time.